Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm rising on the question of privilege with respect to the government's response to my question on the order paper. On February 14th, I submitted an order paper question Q2340 seeking an answer to the following. Quote, with regard to federal investments in Canada's grocery sector since January 1st, 2006, how much federal funding has been provided to one, Loblaws, two, Metro, three, Walmart, four, Sobeys, five, Costco, broken by company, year, and type of funding? On Monday, the government tabled its response to my written question, stating that with regard to federal investments in Canada's grocery sector since January 1st, 2006, no federal funding has been provided to those companies listed above. That answer, Mr. Speaker, was provided by the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, and it contains his signature. But Mr. Speaker, we know this answer is disingenuous. On April the 9th, 2019, it was reported that Loblaw received $12 million to install new energy efficient refrigerators. That money was doled out as a part of the Low Carbon Economy Challenge Champion Stream, a part of the um, Low Carbon Economy Leadership Fund. That certainly sounds like a type of federal funding to which my question very specifically sought an answer about. Catherine McKenna, the Liberal Environment Minister at the time, was even quoted in the media defending the government's decision to award this enormous sum of money to Loblaw. In light of this, Mr. Speaker, it is abundantly clear that the government response provided by the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry is ina inaccurate and misleading to Parliament. The spirit of my written question was to find out how many federal tax dollars have been doled out to some of the wealthiest corporations in the country. Companies that have been price gouging Canadians when they shop for food to feed themselves. I should note, Mr. Speaker, this was my second attempt at seeking an answer to this important question. The earlier attempt having been in the form of a written question submitted back on December 12th 2023, to which I received the exact same disingenuous response. Clearly, Mr. Speaker, this is evidence of a problem. Why does the government believe it can mislead parliamentarians with impunity? A lot of my work, and indeed work of all members of parliament in this place, very much depends on truthful and accurate answers to our questions. It's what allows us to be able to do our jobs, not only to hold this government to account, but also to appropriately represent our constituents. I hope in light of this intervention, Mr. Speaker, that the chair will review this serious matter and will make the appropriate ruling to prevent this from happening in the future. Thank you very much. Bravo. Bravo. I thank the member for Calvertin, uh, Malahat Langford for his intervention on this question of privilege and the chair uh, has duly noted uh, his question of privilege and will come back to the House in due time. I have been given notice as the Honourable Parliament Secretary is rising on a point of order. Yeah, just a relatively quick point of order, uh, Madam Speaker. I'm rising to respond to a question of privilege raised by the member from uh, Kawachin Ma Malahat uh, Langford respecting the government response to order paper uh, question 2340. I want to acknowledge that in raising this matter, the government has reviewed the response and the process used to produce the response in question. Uh, what was discovered is that there was an administrative error in the tasking uh, of the response that led to inaccurate information being provided to the member and to the House. For this reason, I unreservedly uh, apologize, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, for that error. Um, the response was tasked to the Department of Industry, Science and Innovation and when it should have been uh, tasked across all departments and agencies. In addition, it has come to light uh, that this error extends to uh, include order paper uh, question 2142 also. The, the government will produce supplementary, uh, supplemental uh, responses to these OPQs by tasking all government departments and agencies on an urgent basis to ensure that this question is responded to in a timely and an accurate manner, uh, Madam Speaker. Should in the course uh, 
uh, of our review determine that this could involve other OPQs, the government will uh, include those as well. Uh, again, this is an unfortunate uh, administrative error, uh, but I can assure this member and this House that it was not the government's intention uh, to provide inaccurate information to the House with respect to this matter. The compilation uh, of uh, supplemental responses to these questions will be produced uh, as a, on a priority basis. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Leave the Honourable Member for New Westminster Burnaby is rising on the same point of order. Not on the same point of order, but I'm glad that the, the government is making amends. Uh, the member from Coward Shamela had Langford submitted those uh, questions in, in good faith, and I'm glad that we will be getting the information that Canadians uh, require.